channel. Today, what I'm going to be talking about is classic physique of 2020 and what are my thoughts about 2021. Now, classic physique is, in my opinion, uh, becoming more and more popular because, again, this is like uh, the size that I'm used to looking at from the past. So these guys look more uh, achievable. Their physiques look like they are more achievable, even though they are enhanced. Now, 2020, Chris Bumstead is the uh, defending uh, winner. Uh, Brian Ensley, two-time winner. And Terrence Ruffin is uh, the new guy on the block. Uh, trying to make his way to the top. Now, Terrence Ruffin, Breon Ensley, their physiques are similar. Breon Ensley's physique is more mature. His muscles are more separated, more detailed. So, how Terrence Ruffin beat Breon Ensley, I have no idea. But again, we're going to talk about Chris Bumstead. Chris Bumstead uh, made a lot of changes, especially to his back, uh, which uh, he was uh, criticized a great deal about. But if you look at Chris Bumstead's back and you look at Breon Inslee's back, Breon Inslee have far more detail in his back than that of Chris Bumstead. Now, is it that Chris Bumstead uh, have a better physique? Uh, then Breon Ensley, not really. The thing about it is you have to look at the category that we're looking at. The category that we're looking at is classic physique. And which one of these guys represent that particular uh, genre of bodybuilding the most? Uh, and that would be Chris Bumstead. Chris Bumstead, he just have that 70s, 80s look of the past. He just have that 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 look. And that's pretty much uh what the Olympia is looking for. It's like I said, it's more to the Olympia than just having the best body. As you can see, because Brian Ensley clearly it's not as big as Chris Bumstead, but he have more detail in his physique than that of Chris Bumstead. Now, Chris Bumstead have that look that looks like that classic physique. And can Breon Ensley get that physique? Not really. He have more or less just a bodybuilder's type body. And, uh... I think as long as Chris Bumstead comes in the way he did in 2020 and a little bit better in 2021, the, the guy would pretty much, it's going to take somebody bigger because that, again, that's the Olympia. They're always looking for the biggest guy, no matter what category it is. They're looking for the biggest guy that represent that particular category that they have, whether it be Mr. Olympia or Classic Physique Mr. Olympia. They're looking for the biggest guy. And right now, Chris Bumstead is the biggest guy. He's representing the Classic Physique that they are looking for. And right now, Chris, Bum Chris Bumstead is, is, is just the uh, icing on the cake for that category. And Breon Inslin doesn't quite match um, that classic type body that they are looking for because Chris Bumstead pretty much have that Arnold look and they made a lot of money off Arnold and anybody that can uh, give you that image of their best selling product they're going to pretty much go for that and that's the way it's going to be not saying that Chris Bumstead don't have a great physique or either Terrence Ruffin. Both both of those guys have great physiques. Terrence Ruffin, he still have, uh, his muscles still have more maturing to do. And the thing about it is, is like I said, he's on the same side as uh, Breon Inslee. These two guys are smaller guys. 
the Olympia is always going to pick the largest guy, the best looking largest guy that they can find. And right now that's going to be Chris Bumstead. So I don't think uh, Brian Inslee will be able to uh, get that number one spot again as long as Chris Bumstead is coming in uh, complete and uh, always making uh, uh, advancement in his, in his physique. So Chris Bumstead, he has that classic physique look. And he's going to be a uh, classic physique, Mr. Olympia, as long as he want to, until somebody comes with a big package like he have with more detail and they can kind of gravitate toward that particular person. Anyway, that's what I want to talk to y'all about. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel. And again, I'll be talking to you later.